The following tutorial tells you how to find the unit variety of your gene or genes of interest. In order to start curating a publication into Ficanto, the first step is to add the genes or genes used in your study. For this you will require the Uniprot identifiers. If you had them, just add them on the box and click on continue. However, if you don't have this information, I will now be demonstrating different ways in which you can retrieve that information. In the following example, I will be retrieving the Uniprot ID from the last peptide from Fusarium graminarium. So I already know the species gene identifier, so I just type it in and click on search. And I now can see the Uniprot ID that I need for that gene. I can now click on the entry to see if this is correct uh, because there is quite a lot of information like names um, for the organisms and here I can see Fusarium graminarium. If you don't know your gene's unique identifier, you can always search by typing its name, in this case Ralph, and click on search. And you will be shown a list with all of the entries that Uniprot has. As you can see, the list is quite extensive. So what you can do a search by taxonomy. In this case, Fosarium graminarium. And you will be shown a list of two entries, and I know the second one to be the one that I need. If you don't have the unique identifier of your gene and searching for its name doesn't yield any results, this can happen when Uniprot doesn't have information about your gene yet, then what you can do is use BLAST. You just have to type in the sequence of your protein and click on search. When the search is finished, you will get a result. Just click on it and the first hit is the one that I'm looking for. Another option you can explore is to look for the unique identifier of your gene using a database for the species you're working with. In this case, since Fusarium graminarium is a fungi, I can use Ensemble fungi. I just type in the name of my gene, Ralph, and I can filter again by taxonomy, Fusarium graminarium, and here I have the unique identifier that I need, and all I have to do is put this information into Uniprot and retrieve the ID that I need, just like I showed earlier in the video. If none of the steps I showed earlier before work, you always have the option to contact Uniprot. Just click on Get in Touch. Otherwise, you can always contact us at Five Ways. We will be more than happy to assist you.